Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my July 2021 book haul. I have three books that came in the post to show you. Dane reads. Uh, I went out on eBay two Aldous Huxley books. I think for about fiver for both of these, including postage. So I got Mortal Coils by Aldous Huxley, five stories. I actually have read this one, so that's going straight onto eBay. And uh, Antic Hay by Aldous Huxley, which is his, one of his early novels. I don't know if it's his first. I'm quite excited about that. And then I also got uh, Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. So I read her other collection, and it was all right. Um, so. You know, I think this might be, you know, might be up my street. Uh, it's one of those surprising books where I was expecting I probably wasn't going to like it, but I wanted to read it just because I knew it's like well-known contemporary poetry. And I mean, it is the other book. It was like cliche at times, but it was all right. You know, to be fair, I've just looked in a little bit, and the first things I saw were basically sort of statements of truth <laughs> rather than poems. But uh, hey ho. Yeah, we will see. Maybe it'll be all right. Hello everybody, so I went to uh, Tamworth to visit my mum and while we were there we went into this charity shop which is an animal rescue charity and they have a shop that's specifically books and vinyls. I bought a ton of vinyls, not so many books because I'm still trying to cut down my TBR. Currently I'm 41 on red books I think. But I picked up The Prince by Machiavelli, what's his first name? Niccolo Machiavelli. And this is basically like the Italian version of The Art of War. I've actually already read it, it's kind of almost as much a history book as anything else, but um, did enjoy, so yeah. All right guys, I just got four books in the post today. These are all Aldous Huxley. Uh, we have Antic Hay, which I got recently and recently read. Mortal Coils, which I've read, so both of those are going straight on eBay. And then two I haven't read, Behind the, Beyond the Mexique Bay, A Traveler's Journal, and Chrome Yellow, which is one of his more famous ones. So I'm looking forward to getting to these. So I'll be reading these soon and probably doing reviews. Hello everybody, just the one book to haul for you today, that is Psycho Grant issue 2, uh, Comic Capers Cavalcade by David Leach. Uh, he's a local uh, cartoonist, he does the Psycho Grant stuff, it's great. Um, so this one is signed to my friend Amanda, so I'll be giving it back to her soon, because I basically, I bought, oops, dropped it. <clears throat> I bought two different issues of it, one for me and one for her, because he was exhibiting at the uh, Art Centre Big Arts Market. And actually I saw him earlier tonight because um, uh, we had uh, a film screening that he, he happened to be at. And um, my friend Dave, who lives with Amanda, brought this for me. So I'm going to read this and then give it back to Amanda. Although there is a poster in the middle of it that I might ask if I can have the poster. We'll see. So yeah, Psychogram. All right guys, I've got one book in the post to talk to you about, and that is 2012, A Night of Desolation by SF Carr. And it's quite a short book, it's a novella. And uh, the reason I picked this up is because I edited it, although I did notice uh, I'm not credited, alas. I'm, I'm credited on Amazon, just not in the printed book. Oh, I'm, here we go, I'm in the thank yous, the acknowledgements here at the end. What does he say? I'd like to thank my wife, Quidzio, and my wife. <laughs> he didn't say that. I'd like to thank my mother, Kudzio, and my wife, Huda, for reminding me of the importance of standing with the oppressed. A special thanks and a nod of recognition is also in order for my editor, Dane Cobain. He's passionate and full of writing delight, and I truly hope to work with him again on another venture. So, yeah. And this is uh, set in Kabul, Afghanistan, and uh, follows an American soldier, but it's very much about the clashes of cultures and why, in the end, we're all just human beings, you know? So yeah, very cool. All right, my camera's low, so I have to squat a bit for some reason. Uh, new book to haul, this is Asterix A Cleopatra by Argosini A. A. Aderzo. This is a French bon dessinaire, which is the French equivalent of a graphic novel. You've probably heard of Asterix, and I'm particularly excited to get to this one because I'm an Egypt nerd, and so it's very cool to uh, go along and meet Cleopatra whilst learning French by reading it. So, c'est pas vrai, c'est pas vrai, c'est encore... Yeah, there we go. Hello everybody, just a few books to haul that came in the post. Um, so the first one is Volta by Nikki Dudley. Already read this one actually. It is a crime novel, very good it was too. Uh, Nikki went to the same university that I went to and I've sort of known her, known her for a little while now. She runs a, a literary magazine called Street Cake, which I've submitted to a few times and had some poems published by. She actually gave me a quote that goes on the blurb of my poetry collection. And um, this is kind of contemporary crime, very contemporary. I think it was set in 2020. Um, although actually no mention of the pandemic, I guess you can't really foresee that, you know. But um, very well written, lots of twists and turns. I gave it a four out of five, and I would say if you're into crime novels, definitely get this. This is one of the better ones that I've read of late. Um, so that was good. Then I got The Colour Gone, Quest for Answers by Ryan Milletti and M. Bryan, FHD. 
so I actually, this was a client of mine, so I edited this book, and you can see if you flick inside it, you can see that it's a me layout. Um, I'm not going to rate this one, but I will mark it as red. Uh, but I'm just getting a copy so that I can add it to my own collection. So that's very cool. And then I got this as well, Fauna, Stories by David Hartley. So this is actually what I'm currently reading. It's all short stories uh, based on animals to, you know, as a concept to bring it all together. It's quite experimental, I would say almost literary fiction. Subverts a lot of genres, kind of subverts your expectations. I mean, I went in with no expectations and it still subverted what I was expecting from it. So uh, yes, this one is very good as well so far and uh, very glad that this was, this was sent to me. So there we have it, those are all of the books that I received in the month of July. As always, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.